So, either you came here because of the thumbnail, or because of the cringe name. But we both know that it's because you're a passionate developer looking into ways of making your own bot, right? Uh, maybe not. Anyway, at last, at last I have some time to make updates to my small fishing boat. I'm sorry I couldn't make updates sooner because of, let's call it, geopolitical pickle. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, you may like to check it right now. Thanks everyone for the feedback and general attention to this Electron application. I still haven't found a way to make an invisible and elusive board, so I decided to focus on unofficial servers and provided support for most of the old patches like Vanilla, The Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King, Cataclysm and Mist of Pandaria. I also haven't found a way to make the board work in the background with these old games, but I improved the board to work with multiple windows. You can see that right now, the board is switching between windows on its own. The most changes were made to the codem, so you won't notice much. Except that the bot is using less resources now, therefore walking much faster than before. I took out all those unnecessary random movements of the mouse and keyboard. It didn't help to prevent binding anyway. But as a countermeasure against detection, I randomized all possible delay values. So it might be better now. As you might know, after some of World of Warcraft updates, the previous bot doesn't work properly on retail. And now you can't use it in the background. So I changed it a little to make it work in hardware mode, meaning the window of the game will be opened all the time, and the bot will directly utilize your mouse and keyboard, in the same way as it does when used on unofficial servers. It might help against detection, but still, don't use it on retail. I really don't want to get you banned and lose your account, and the chance of it is very high. So be careful. Let's talk about how to use the bot again. The most important thing you need to do before starting the bot is turning off vertical synchronization, then switching to the lower DirectX if available. For example, there is no DirectX option in the old patches, so you don't need to change anything. And don't forget to switch to windowed fullscreen mode. After this was done, find a good fishing place. Check my previous video for more thorough explanation. But in general a good fishing place is where you can see your bobber well and where there are no other red and yellow colors in the fishing zone. Except bobber itself, of course. Try to avoid any high places and places where there are mobs with red and yellow names running in your fishing zone. As I mentioned before, you can also use multiple windows. For that you don't need to do anything. The bot will look for all World of Warcraft windows opened on your computer by himself. After finding them, it will give them a special ID and will switch between them casting and hooking per request. Of course, you need to follow the instruction for every window opened. Set all video settings, equip fish pole, find a fishing place and so on. And that's all, I guess. I try to keep this video as short as possible. You can find a more detailed guide on my GitHub page, or by checking the previous video, or by asking me in the comments. I'm thinking on making a board that will automate selling process and auction in Wrath of Lich King, mostly for myself. But if you are interested in it too, write it down in the comments and I will make another video when I'm finished with it. Thanks for watching, thanks for the feedback, check my other projects for League of Legends and Lineage 2, they are kinda cool too. The link to the bot is in the description. Don't forget to check the code itself if you are interested in technical stuff. But who am I kidding, you of course you don't. And give me some feedback on it, I would appreciate it. And for God's sake, please, do not use this bot on official servers. I warned you. Bye.